Hello everyone and welcome to 100 Kubernetes Tools Day 10 and the topic for today is Kubernetes events. I have up here a picture of dominoes because sometimes it really feels that that's what Kubernetes is like. You get a message in Alert Manager. For example, here I have a message that a pod is not ready. And this message is the end result of a chain of dominoes that occurred. And it says here a pod has been in not ready state for 15 minutes and I want to know why. But based on, based on this alone, I really don't know why this occurred. So to figure that out, let's jump over to the cluster. So I have here my uh, kubecat already, and I'm going to here look at the deployment. I see here there's an Nginx deployment, which has zero out of one ready pods. And if I jump over now, and I'm not going to look at the deployment, but I'm going to look at one of the pods in that deployment, then I can see here that this pod is in pending state. Now I want to understand why it's pending. So that brings us to the topic of the video the number one command that you should all memorize and um, have on the speed dial, so to speak, and the first thing you should do when something goes wrong, and that's kubectl get events. Whoops. So I'm going to run that, and I can see here the Kubernetes events in my cluster, and just to reduce that down to something a little smaller, smaller I'm going to only look at uh, warning events. Whoops. Every event here has one of two types, so it could be normal or warning. We're just going to look at the warning events. And right away from this, you can see exactly what the problem is. I see here, I have this Nginx pod, and this is impending because of failed scheduling, so Kubernetes couldn't schedule it to a specific node, and that's because zero out of five nodes are, av are available. So all the five nodes in my cluster have insufficient CPU for this pod. So going back over now to this example in Slack, when you see the Slack message, really the first thing that you want to do is you want to go and you want to check out the Kubernetes events uh, for this specific pod, and you want to see why is this pending. And let me show you a trick to do that as well. Okay, so right here I have the exact same alert firing. This is the QPod not ready alert. And in this case, I'm looking at it in the Slack channel that Robusta is sending alerts to. Uh, as most of you know, I work on Robusta, which is an open source project for Kubernetes runbook automation. Essentially, we get your alerts, and then we add on extra context to show you why they occurred. So in this case, you can see right here in the Slack channel itself, the pod events, and you can see the exact same message right here. Uh, zero all five nodes are available, five insufficient CPU, and I want to show you how that works. So essentially, the way Robusta works is you define a YAML file, and inside that YAML file, you can define what data to pull in at what time. So I'm using here a specific Robusta action called the pods pod events enricher. And the trigger for that, it can be a trigger on the crashing pod, it can be a trigger on a Prometheus alert, which is what we did in this example. There are a bunch of, uh, there's sometimes a bunch of different parameters, in this case there aren't any. And um, we can use this to pull in any context that we want. So I could pull in a graph as well for context if I wanted to pull in a graph of the CPU usage for a different alert. In this case, it wouldn't make any sense. Um, and you can use this to add context to your alerts. But in general, the thing you should always remember to do uh, using Robusta or not, is when you have an alert or when you have an issue in your cluster, go run kubectl events, and really that should be your muscle memory and the first thing you do. So I hope this helps, and have a wonderful day.